message was uh, to uh, teach people how to really use the chemistry, how to use the uh, ultrasonic power to make uh, better uh, cleaning of their lenses and better lens surface preparation for coatings. Uh, during my presentation, I uh, tried to uh, teach the people how to use uh, their uh, chemistry, how to use the ultrasonic power to better clean their lenses and to better prepare them for further operations. The most important thing in mind is chemistry is key to success. In Horizons, we think that the purchasing process of a pair of glasses in the optical store has a, a couple of steps that can be improved in terms of assignment and attractiveness to the final user. In particular, the lens uh, prescription and lens selection are two steps that can be a little bit uh, not so fun and a little bit disorienting for the users sometimes because of the technical complexity of understanding the arguments. Uh, parallel to this, we see that the virtual reality is a technology that has come to a point of maturity that can enhance this process very much. Uh, in particular, we found already companies that are provide technologies for the optical stores related to uh, screening or even some therapy, screening of like uh, visual fields or therapy such as uh, improving the lazy eyes. And we think as a company that we can also provide some solutions related to that and we have developed technologies related to diagnose of the gaze dynamics of people to achieve a good uh, personalization of progressive lenses. In addition, we are also now presenting another tool, which is a training tool for, for, to help opticians uh, explain what a progressive lens is to novel users. And with this, we are convinced that virtual reality is a technology that has come to stay for good, to stay in optical stores, and that we'll see how they, it grows in the future in this in this thing. Digitalization and the Internet of Things will shape the lab of the future. And we talked about four hypotheses. One was that the overall IT architecture in a lab needs to adapt to enable the digitalization and to enable new business models. Another hypothesis was that artificial intelligence will create benefits for the users and for the labs if it's used in an appropriate way. Second uh, hypothesis developed was how uh, digitalization can drive sustainability. And we took the example of uh, the job ticket, which is a very old technology that can be replaced today with smart IoT products uh, that enhance uh, the use of those data. Uh, the second uh, hypothesis was around smart bars and consumables ordering that can actually bring a lot of flexibility and simplification for the, for the, for the labs uh, in the future. As a result, we think that all of those technology will drastically simplify uh, the lab life in the future, and we think that they need to be implemented in order for the labs in the future to be successful. My name is Professor Mo Daly. I gave a talk today on the cylinder power in near vision, and I pointed out that the cylinder that corrects an eye for distance cannot correct the same eye for near vision. In general, the near vision cylinder needs to be increased by a small percentage. And I gave a formula which could be useful to lens manufacturers if they want to produce using freeform technology a lens which has different cylinder powers in the upper half and the lower half of the lens. I, I think that uh, NAFO has exceeded its aim to produce a successful conference for manufacturers. The speakers were excellent, their subjects were very up-to-date and relevant to the current situation and the research that's taken place. I can remember many years ago how difficult it was to obtain information from other people in the profession who didn't want to share their secrets in case they uh, were su supplanted in, um, in, in their posts. But now I think people recognize that there are so many different skills that it's become necessary to share information. And this certainly has been achieved here. The MAFO conference 
presentation I showed um, the new ultimative power lab means everybody has a different understanding about a power lab and I want to show everybody what are the key points like an automation directly from the beginning, from the warehouse to the edging process to include all the different processes with machines with maximum throughput, highest reliability. Um, all these key points are presented in my talk and want to show you what are the key features to get your real power lab. Intelligence of the machines, you do not have to think about individual machines, you have to think about a system where everything comes together. Your lab with the machine throughput, with intelligence connection to the automation, and also that you have a transparent system where you see what is the cost of my lens, what is the throughput and the efficiency of the lab. All these together makes your power lab. Today I will talk about freeform history and uh, uh, three challenges that we uh, have faced over the last years about freeform. The first challenge was just to move the surface from uh, uh, front to the back, but we had no uh, real benefits in just doing that. Then we needed to apply uh, ray tracing based optimization on the lens in the second challenge. And the third challenge was to uh, taking into account the, the uh, wearer habits. But the measure of the wearer habits were only subjective in a first stage. So we needed in the recent time to uh, take these measures from subjective to more objective. And that's now that uh, uh, the metaverse comes to uh, the stage. Because with metaverse, we can make some objective measures of the wearer habits and we can customize the design according to uh, those objective uh, measures. In uh, my talk, I've uh, recall all the main concept of progressive lenses optimization and I explain why using metaverse-based solution today is more important, uh, it's, it's very important. Lastly, I recall that there are some still uh, classic challenge that need to be uh, investigated and one is how can we go uh, beyond the Minkwitz theorem? It uh, um, looks like an utopian question, but it's something that we uh, have to investigate in the near future to find, for example, an alternative shape for progressive lenses. The core message of my speech about paperless production is that we have a big chance to change the next milestone in production overview and traceability, but there are also many obstacles. We have psychological and technical aspects to respect and to overcome. It is easier to set up a paperless production on the green floor than to change a running production with paper. There are currently software developments running, we have proof of concepts and we are about to start paperless production in Germany with two large labs. So also for the worldwide market we are ready to go with paperless productions. Here today presenting a new system for automatic cosmetic inspection of ophthalmic lenses. Uh, cosmetic inspection has traditionally been a, a very difficult problem to automate, no? because it has a certain subjective component. It requires highly trained staff, and it's um, it's been hard to to replicate by automatic systems. But today we're presenting a solution that has the special characteristic that it can be used to do cosmetic inspection of semi-finished lens planks because it can distinguish between defects on the back and the front of the lens. We're also showing the experience using this type of system and the success we've had over two years of using them in production and how it has helped us improve the quality and consistency. And also uh, we are presenting a first uh, system that is the first collaboration between IoT and automation and robotics in, in this area where we have decided to combine the expertise of the two companies and we are representing uh, a first prototype of this system here at Mido. Yeah, so at a &R, being the leader in lens inspection, we are very excited to join forces with IoT to tackle such a big challenge. Two, the two companies share the same vision, the same, the same goals, which is in the end, helping our customer uh, produce the highest quality of lenses. And 
We're very excited about being in this uh, journey together.